no matter what type of circumstances that you have been raised in or have experienced, you always have the ability to find a way out and create success for yourself. And I had to do that in my own life. I'd see all the college students go towards the campus and I thought to myself, where are they going? What, what are they doing? Why do they look different than the rest of the people that are in the, the group? And, and that always kept in the back of my head. And our mother said, whatever you do, in order to change your circumstance, you're gonna to have to get an education. And so I, I kept that in the back of my head. I, no matter what, I had to educate myself. I had to get a degree. I, the people that I saw going to the school down the street, that's something I could do. And I had that vision. I would go to this school that was like in a predominantly well-off area and everyone had books and, and paper and really nice shoes. <laughs> and I remember looking at this thinking, oh, I don't have any of that. And every time I would come back into my neighborhood, I would see the graffiti and I'd see the, the trash. And I thought to myself, what makes a difference? Why are there people here in this situation versus here in this situation? And every single day I would come back and it came down to this. It was the thinking, how we think, how we look at situations, whether or not we see ourselves doing well and being successful or versus if we see ourselves as a, a not successful person in an environment, our thinking defines our life. And when we can take hold of our thought and see it for what it is and change it and transform it and change it to convert it into an energy that unleashes a brain power that allows us to change a situation, that, my friend, is how we change our lives and that's how we change everyone else's. What happened was I was failing algebra. I failed algebra, I failed geometry, I failed uh, what, what, calculus and chemistry. And uh, there was this calculus teacher that said, all right, I'm gonna offer uh, calculus tutoring for anyone who's willing to come to the campus during the winter break. And I thought everyone was gonna show up. There was only myself. Wow. And, and I thought to myself, this is such a blessing. And I sat there and I, I picked his brain. I'm like, how, how do I look? What does an integral mean? Uh, what does the, the tangent mean? Uh, what does the instantaneous rate mean and these are all words for derivative and, and calculus and I got a chance to sit down with them and that was the first time ever that I realized I was smart and when I sat with him uh, it was amazing because I realized what was stopping me was my own fear it wasn't it wasn't anything with my educational aspect it was me thinking I couldn't do well in mathematics and when I learned to remove that fear and think, I'm going to do this no matter what's going to happen. I may fail it, I may not fail it. I'm going to do well at this and I'm going to just, just see where it goes. I'm going to put my all into it and find out. And I put my all into it and I failed. But it, it's something inside of me shifted. I realized, hey, failing wasn't that bad. If I can, if I can like spend a little bit more time at it, I can actually do really well at this. And that was the shift in thinking. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna spend some more time in it and I'm gonna actually get this. When I overcome my own fear, it was when I was working with someone else and recognizing that the person next to me was the exact mirror of myself. And as if, as I could help that person right next to me, I was helping myself at the same time. And it became this teamwork. Every single person on the campus needed mathematics. And so I got a chance to know everybody on the campus and became one of the most popular people because everyone needed mathematics. And that confidence that was built from taking something that I failed at before and shifting my thinking about it and embracing it to actually create a new reality for myself, that's what empowered me. And that's what allowed me to graduate top of my class, which later on opened up the door to launch rockets. Through a series of events, uh, I learned the power that we have in our, our brain. When I overcame so many challenges when I was launching rockets of being a, a woman and, and being a, one, a person of color in a predominantly area that was different than myself, I had, to, I had to think differently. I had to think, all right, I'm gonna stand out 
Everything that I do is gonna have to be twice as good. That's just the nature of it. And I had to change the way in which I was thinking in order to do that. How am I going to be such a contributing force to this environment that whenever I leave, I've made a difference? And when I realized that, and then when I coupled that with the aspect of mathematics, where the same type of math that we use to launch to Mars is the same type of math that we use to literally reshape our own brain, I realized the power of our thoughts. When we are aware of where we are, what we're doing, and more importantly, the decision that we have in front of us, the choice in our thought in a situation Whatever decision that we make in that full awareness, that decision in itself is a fractal moment in chaos that literally changes the brain at that very moment to restructure it inside of your head so you can unleash your power. When you look at how are my thoughts going to align with where I want to go and you decide that moment in time where you decide this is a thought that's gonna get me to being a rocket scientist. This is a thought that's gonna get me to be a doctor. This is a thought to get me to be a host of my own show. I'm, whatever it takes, I'm going to have all the type of thoughts that's gonna get me closer to where I wanna go in the future. When we realize that we have a choice in how we think about things, where we have a choice, are we going to be scared about something or are we gonna go for it no matter what's gonna happen? That is when we unleash this power to here. When you are expected to succeed by your mentors or parents or, or teachers, when there is an expectation on your life to do well, at an early age you adopt it, you address it, you adhere to it, you create it. But if you are never given that opportunity to know what you are capable of doing, if you are never given that, uh, that word, that encouragement that says, do you know what, you can be good at mathematics, even though you failed algebra and geometry and calculus and chemistry, which That's I did, crazy. you can actually do well in mathematics. If, if there's not someone showing you your worth when you can't see it, you'll forever be looking in the mirror thinking that you are not worth what you are. When you see exactly what you don't want, if you can take the exact opposite of that, that's how you find out what you do want. For example, when we launched rockets, we knew, okay, we didn't want there to be an explosion out the jacket, which was like the side of the rocket, but we wanted the explosion to go down. So we thought, okay, what is the worst case scenario? And the worst case scenario is, okay, there will be a kind of tire flames blowing out where we don't want it to go. So we're like, how can we prevent that? How can we focus on where we do want it to go? Where's the ideal part for it to go? And the ideal part is for the, the, all the flames to go down the tubes and go through and create a plume. So what we had to do in that aspect is literally envision exactly what we didn't want and figure out the chain of events that could possibly get us there to what we don't want and then go backwards. The beauty about working uh, in rocket science is that I had the ability to observe genius brains. And I realized that any of us can gain a genius brain no matter what age we're at. It doesn't matter. Forget it, what anyone's ever told you. You can gain a smart brain at any age. Every decision that you make reshapes your brain. The more powerful that you are in making decision after decision after decision, the more powerful your brain becomes. Does that make you really careful about what decisions you make? Like, are you super aware when you're making decisions? I've learned to become aware to see, all right, this is where I want to go. How is this decision going to help me get there? It's always keeping that in the back of your head, like, this is where I'm going to go. And I'd made the decision very early in life that no matter where I was, I was going to change it. I was going to change it so I would leave my mark to be able to help in a very powerful way so people after I leave would be able to make their own mark and, and build it in a way in which it was going to be very uh, powerful for their life. If you're a person in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, that Lord STEM, go into it, do it. 
There is such a overwhelming need for you. You have the ability to see the big picture. You have the ability not only to do the mathematics, but you have the ability to see the big picture and use your communication skills in order for people to see how important concepts are. So that is the gift that you bring. If you have the opportunity to go into that, do it! <laughs>